Hi everyone, Diamond Peter here. Apologies if you can hear the fan again, it's quite hot here, so I'm sorry if you can hear it buzzing. So I'm coming to you today with another Timu haul. Now this is the second one that I've had. I had one yesterday. Today is Wednesday the 10th of January. Um, so I'm just going to um, open this one. I haven't opened it yet. Now this is non-diamond painting related stuff. So just so you know, it's not diamond painting related. I did that one yesterday. All right. Move it over there. Okay. Alright, so first thing I see here are these two little books. Now I've got one for myself and one for my dad. Now I'm going to leave his. I won't open his because they're both exactly the same. It's just that they're different colours. I got him the navy blue and I got myself aqua. I'm gonna leave his there to take home tomorrow back tomorrow. Now this is a handy little book. So if you have passwords and things for different websites that you have to remember. Now my dad got an iPad, if you remember, for Christmas and he's got a lot of um, passwords to remember because he's um, he started PayPal and, and I signed him up to Timu so that he could order a few things and that. So we need something to put our passwords in. So this little book here, you can put a pen in there if you want to. It doesn't come with a pen but you can put a pen in that little piece of elastic. It does come closed with a piece of elastic. You open it up and it's got the alphabet down here. So say I wanted to, oh, and you can put your details in the front. So personal profile, friends and family, page lists and all that sort of stuff. So say I want to go to PayPal. So I would go to P, O to P. That says O and P. And I would write up here, account, so PayPal, my username and my password. And that's a great little book to have um, because I've got so many passwords and things to remember myself and it's not safe to have them on your phone. If you do need any of them when you go away, maybe you could screenshot it on your phone and delete it as soon as you have used those websites when you're away. But I think that's a great idea. And my dad's gonna love that because it's going to take up less space on his phone because um, on his notes he's got some passwords and things and he really needs to get rid of them. It's not safe to have them on your phone. But yeah, so I've, I've got one of those for him and one for myself. I love that. So that's a nice little book. That wasn't very expensive. Let me show you how much. It comes in different colours, I think, too, from memory. I actually thought they were going to be bigger than that, but that's a perfect size because it can you can fit that in your handbag. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good size. It's not too big. So, so this is it there, it was $6.98 Australian and it comes in pink, grey, brown, navy blue like dad's, light blue like mine or it's like more like an aqua and a green. So yeah, so I just thought that was, it shows you there, people putting their information in. But yeah, I think that's a nice little book, it's going to come in very handy. That's for sure. All right. Now I've only got two more items, and these two items pretty much go together. Okay, let's get this one out. Oh, goodness me. Now they've packed it well. Okay, so this one needs opening up as well. Hope everyone's doing well. It's um, as I said, it's quite hot here again. I had to have. The aircon on the last two days, I've had the aircon on about 12 midday because it's just been so hot. Um, very, very hot. Okay, so this is a craft mat. Now, I did have a small one of these years ago, but I wanted a good size one to put on my desk here when I take my light pad away to do my miniatures on, my other crafts. So this is it. Here. It's got shapes down here on this side um, and I don't understand what all this is for but I won't be using all that and then you've got all of this on the other side. Um, I won't be using any of that. It's mainly for my miniatures to use my craft knife on. So that's the mat and that was $14.48 and it is there's only one size 
and it's the A3. So it's for scrapbooking, um, cutting of your hobby crafts mat. So yeah, as I said, I had a small one years ago. It was probably about half the size of that, um, the A4, and it was too small. So this one's a good size. So that's what I'll be using my miniatures. Now, the one that I got that I said I can finally open was my doll's house. Now I got this one for my daughter for Christmas and I couldn't open it because it was a gift and I didn't want to open it, it was hers. But that's it there, it's a little miniature doll house that you put together yourself. It lights up, um, it says it comes with the glue, I don't know, I'll have to have a look, and it's a do it yourself. Um, just tells you a little bit more information there, shows you what is roughly in the box. So let's, oh, it's got a little handle on the top, little like a little carry handle on the top. And if you want to carry it anywhere, you can move it from place to place. So let's open this one. Let's have a look and see. Because as I said, I couldn't open hers at Christmas time. So, and I don't think she's actually opened hers yet. Okay, so it comes with a little tool kit. So you get a pair of tweezers that have a band on the, on the pointy end on the top to hold them together and a small ruler come in handy. And come for the booklet and all your bits and pieces. Oh my goodness, wow. There's a lot in here. Okay. I'll have to keep the box there because I want to keep it all together. I don't want to lose any of the bits because I probably won't get to start this just yet. Okay. So this is the booklet. And some pieces, cut out pieces as well. Okay, so this is the, it's a dream building pavilion, they call it. Um, this is the instruction manual. So this gives you all your information, um, how to assemble, shows you how to test the lights to make sure they work, how to uh, assemble the lights. Tells you what's in each bag. So bag D and bag G and printing paper. So that makes the chair. So it tells you what it makes. Um, thumbnail, material list reference, um, printing paper and template paper. So you can check to make sure you have all of that. Uh, a little bit of information down there about the glue. Tells you after applying the glue, let it dry for a few seconds before pasting. So there you go. Um, And this is all the things that go in it. Now, it's I think it's all cutouts, so you have to cut it out all out yourself. So that's I need to get a craft knife, obviously, to go with my mat. Um, so that will be the next thing that I order. But for example, here it shows you how to put. You've got the little table. It shows you how to put little cups together. It shows you how to do the cake. So there's a cake. Um, another little table with a runner on it. So, yeah, we've got some how to do the toaster. That's cool. So there's all different sorts of miniatures in this doll's house to put together. Um, yeah, I can't show you all of them because we'll be here all day, but um, it shows you what rooms they go in, etc. Um, yeah, about the lights, how to put the lights together. Wow, so much stuff. Okay, so that's the booklet. This is a material list, so it tells you some of the pieces that you have. You have big white pearls, you have little pearls, there's little forks, little beads, all different shapes and sizes of beads. What's in bag L, so that's the lighting that you put together. Wow, okay. Here are some of the cutouts. Well, these are actually stickers. These are stickers, so you must cut the pieces out and put the stickers on. So you've got some, there's some lead lighting. That's nice, it's got flowers on it and patterns to go on something there. And then we've got these ones as well. This one. And this must be the cutouts. Yep, so this is all the cutouts. So it gives you the information there on what the pieces are supposed to look like and then this is all of the cutouts 
wallpapers and there's all sorts of stuff there to look at but wow oh, look at the little tiny plates and things there the spatulas the toast for the toaster the toaster itself the mirror so you make all that stuff yourself mm. okay well that will keep me busy for a while I would imagine I have no idea where I'm going to start but you know that's okay all right now so this tells you it's bag L and this is the lighting obviously the stuff that helps the lighting puts the lighting in your little house so I'm assuming battery obviously goes in there there's no battery in it so we've got a bag here that says A and that's all wood pieces so that would be all the wooden pieces to put together plus this piece there that's loose that might be the bottom of the house we have another bag here doesn't say have a letter on this bag but it's got some bits and pieces in there looks like you have to cut them out push them out push them out they've already been cut most of those and push them out and we have D, F, C, B so the bags have all got different um, letters on them so you know which one goes where for what pieces when you look it up oh my goodness so many little pieces in that and then this one here this one has material and um, so this one's got lots of mit material and stuffing and things in it and ribbon so that's bag G this one's got there's a little tiny cup in there there's little tiny looks like flower pots little tiny flower things to go in the flower pots little tiny beads oh wow and then this one's got all your beads and your pieces in it to make the furniture and then this one has all the other little bits and pieces that join them together and that go on them and you glue them wow Okay, so that's going to take it's going to take a while to do. I might have bitten off more than I could chew, guys. But it's it's certainly going to look very effective when it's done. So that's again, that's it there. So it's even got a little piano down here, a little couch. You got the stairs that go up to the bedroom and the the um the top of the house. There, it looks like they've got an easel set up. So. Not sure why the letterbox is all the way up the top there. I hope the postman doesn't have to walk all the way up to the top of the house. Oh my goodness, that's weird. That's funny having a letterbox there. Oh well, we could always move that. But yeah, so all these pieces, obviously, you can see the stained glass. So all those pieces are the pieces that go together to make the windows. And yeah, wow. Okay. All right. Well. We'll see how that goes. Um, I will show you the cost of that one as well. That one was a little bit dearer. Um, when I got my daughters at Christmas time, I actually used some um, credits that I had, like some um, price adjustments. So I got hers a bit cheaper, but it was this one was $60.97 Australian. That's a lot, but you get all the little bits and pieces. And I didn't see any glue though. That was the only thing that it says it comes with, but I didn't see any glue. That's fine. I will. I can get some. I need to get some that I know is very sturdy. I do have some B. Is it B seven thousand glue? But I use that for my diamond painting things. So I might just get some other wood and craft glue. I think that I think will hold it. But but yeah, I don't know. It's it's supposed to come with it, but that's fine. So just so you're aware, in case you buy it, that you may not get glue. You may not have to purchase that yourself. So, um, but at least at least if you if you're getting the glue, you, you know that you're getting a, a good one. Because sometimes the glue that comes in these kits is not very good, or it's dried up or something. So anyway, that's all I have time for. Um, while you've while I've got you here, I'm just going to show you my house so far. I have finished two so I finished this house and this house so I've started on the church down the bottom here so yep yeah, so I'm currently doing that and I'm going I've 
dug this out yesterday and I kitted it up. I'm going to be doing this one. I might do a bit of a whipping chat on this one. I don't know. We'll see how things go. Um, I want to take some Dom painting to Mum's because I'm going over to Mum's tomorrow for about a, well, not quite a week, but close to it. So um, I may not get a chance to do whip and chat because I, I might do this while I'm over there. And I also want to take my Easter earrings that I bought, that I got from Timu that I unboxed yesterday and my Easter bunny rabbit thing for the front door as well because I want to do those to put up, to put up for Easter. So... But I, I will be back with a whip and chat probably next week. I hope, I've, time's just got away with me this week, so or away from me, I should say. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative. I'm sorry it's not diamond painting as such, but, um, you know, you might be interested in the, in the miniature side of things um, and what obviously what comes in these kits because they're not cheap. Some of these kits are expensive, so, you, you know, you want to make sure you've got all your pieces and... I'll go through later and just make sure that it looks like I've got everything that's supposed to be in here with the booklet. But, um, yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. Um, it helps my channel. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Um, as I said, I'm going away for probably four or five days, so um, I won't be posting videos as such. I may do a couple of shorts when I'm away. Um, when I'm out and about doing shopping or coffee or something, I'm going to try and do a little bit of something different. So I'll show you a bit of the area if I get a chance. But yeah, so, um, but I will talk to you all definitely next week. Uh, and I have some news next week. I'll, when I do my whip and chat, I have some news on the job front as well. So I'll talk to you about that then. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.